parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have got the same gradient. They go in the same direction. So if we look at the purple line, we can see for every one it goes across, it goes up two. Across one, up two. Across one, up two. So we can say that the purple line has got a gradient of two. And any other line with a gradient of two, no matter where it is on the graph, will be parallel. So these two purple lines are parallel. They've both got the same gradient. Perpendicular lines meet at a 90 degree angle. They meet at a right angle. So there's a right angle in between the purple line and the red line. So they are perpendicular. The red line goes along two down one, along two down one, which means for every one it goes across, it goes down by a half, across one, down a half. So the red line has got a gradient of minus a half. For every one it goes across, it goes down by a half. There is a relationship between these two gradients. If you multiply them together, if you multiply together the gradients of two perpendicular lines, you will always get negative one. So two times minus a half is negative one. Or what you could say is that one is the negative reciprocal of the other one. So if one perpendicular line is positive, the other one would always be negative. And the gradients are flipped over. So a gradient of two for one means the other one's got a minus a half. If one had a gradient of four, its perpendicular line would be negative and the reciprocal of four, which is one over four. If a line had a gradient of three, the perpendicular line would have a gradient of, it'd be negative and it'd be one third. So negative reciprocal. If we had five over two, for one of them, the other one would be negative and two fifths. So negative and flipped over. If one had a gradient of minus four fifths, its perpendicular line would have a gradient of positive five over four. So we can either say that the gradients of two perpendicular lines multiply to make negative one, or that one of them is the negative reciprocal of the other one. Let's look at some questions. So the first one says write down the gradient of a line parallel to y equals 3x minus 5. So the equation of a straight line is in the form y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So the gradient of y equals 3x minus 5 is 3. And a parallel line will have the same gradient. So any parallel line will have a gradient of Three. For the second one, write down the gradient of a line parallel to y equals minus 4x plus 5. The gradient of this line is minus 4, negative 4, and any parallel line will have the same gradient. Question 3. Write down the gradient of a line perpendicular to y equals minus 3x minus 1. So the perpendicular gradient is going to be the negative reciprocal. So the gradient of this line is negative 3. So the perpendicular gradient is going to be positive 1 third. So if one of the lines has got a negative gradient, the other one's got a positive gradient, and the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. 
write down the gradient of a line perpendicular to y equals 3 over 2x minus 3. So again, the negative reciprocal of 3 over 2. So it's going to be negative and 3 over 2 flipped over is 2 thirds. Okay, 4 for you to try, so give them a go. So parallel to y equals a half x plus 12. Any parallel line's got the same gradient, and that is 1 half. Write down the gradient of a line parallel to y equals minus x plus 1. So the gradient of this line is negative 1. And any line parallel will have the same gradient. Perpendicular to y equals minus 5x minus 8. We want the negative reciprocal of negative 5. So it's going to be positive 1 fifth. And the last one, y equals 1 third x plus 4. This one's positive, so the other one's going to be negative. And the reciprocal of 1 third is 3. Okay, a different example. Find the equation of the line parallel to y equals 2x plus 1. So if it's parallel to y equals 2x plus 1, it must have a gradient of 2 that passes through the point minus 3, 4. So the equation of a line is in the form y equals mx plus c. We know the gradient's going to be 2. So it's going to be y equals 2x plus c. To find c, we're going to substitute in these coordinates. So y is going to be 4 and x negative 3. 2 negative 3 is a negative 6. And plus negative 6 to both sides to get c by itself. So c is 10. So we've got y equals 2x plus 10. Okay, one for you to try. So give this one a go. Find the equation of the line parallel to y equals 1 third x plus 2 that passes through 6 minus 1. So it's parallel, so the same gradient, so m is 1 third. So we've got y equals 1 third x plus c. To find c, we're going to use the coordinates we've been given, so x and y, which means we've got minus 1 equals 1 third times 6 plus c. 1 third of 6 is 2. Take away 2 from both sides, so we get c is negative 3. So we've got y equals 1 third x minus 3. Another example, find the equation of the line perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 5 that passes through 3, 4. So we want the perpendicular gradient this time. So the negative reciprocal of 2. So flip it over and minus. The negative reciprocal of 2 is minus a half. So we've got y equals minus a half x plus c. To find c, we're going to use our coordinates of the point. So it's going to be 4 equals minus a half times 3 plus c. Minus a half times 3 is minus 1 and a half or minus 3 over 2. And to get c by itself, we're going to plus 3 over 2, or 1 and a half to both sides. So C is going to be 5 and a half, or 11 over 2. So we've got Y equals minus a half X plus 11 over 2. Okay, one for you to try, so give it a go. So we want the perpendicular gradient. So it's 1 third. So the negative reciprocal of one third is minus three. 
So flip the minus, minus 3. So we've got y equals minus 3x plus c. We've got a set of coordinates that we can use to find c. So y is 4 and x is negative 2. So negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. And take 6 away from both sides to get c by itself. So c is negative 2. So y is minus 3x minus 2. One more example. We've got line A passes through 3, negative 4 and 6, negative 10. Line B passes through negative 4, 3 and 6, 8. Show that line A and line B are perpendicular. So we're going to work out the gradient of line A and the gradient of line B. And then show that they multiply to make negative 1 or show that one gradient is a negative reciprocal of the other gradient. We will work out the gradient by working out the change in y divided by the change in x. And we can use the formula m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the change in the y's divided by the change in the x. So we'll label the points x1, y1, x2, y2 for both of the lines. And then we can just substitute them in. So for line A, the gradient is y2 minus y1, so negative 10 minus negative 4 over x2 minus x1, 6 minus 3. So to simplify that, we've got negative 10 take away minus 4, which is the same as negative 10 plus 4. So negative 6 over 6 minus 3, which is 3. And 6 over 3 is 2. And it's a negative divided by a positive, so it's negative 2. So A has got a gradient of negative 2. For B, the gradient is the change in the y's, y2 minus y1, 8 minus 3, over the change in the x's, 6 minus negative 4, so 8 minus 3 is 5, 6 plus 4 is 10, so that's got a gradient of 1 half. So we can see by these two gradients, they are perpendicular because they multiply to make negative one or we could say that one is the negative reciprocal of the other. Okay one for you to try so pause the video and give it a go. We've got line A passes through negative 3 14 and 5 negative 2. Line B passes through negative 4 9 and 1 negative 1. And we are showing they are parallel this time. So they will have the same gradients. So we're going to work out the gradient of both lines by doing the change in y over the change in x. So we'll have x1, y1, x2, y2 for both lines. So for A, the gradient is y2 minus y1 which is negative 2 minus 14 over x2 minus x1, which is 5 take away negative 3. So we've got negative 2 take away 14, which is negative 16, over 5 plus 3, which is 8. We've got a negative divided by a positive, which would be negative, and 16 over 8 is 2. So A has got a gradient of negative 2. B, the gradient is y2 minus y1, which is negative 1 minus 9 over x2 minus x1, 
which is 1 minus negative 4. So negative 1 minus 9 is negative 10. 1 plus 4 is 5. 10 over 5 is 2. So negative 10 over 5 is negative 2. So they've got the same gradient, therefore they are parallel. To finish up, we've got two questions. So pause the video and give it a go. Question one, find the equation of the line parallel to y equals 5x plus 1 that passes through 0, 4. So if it's parallel, it's got the same gradient, so it must have a gradient of 5. So it's y equals 5x plus c, and the y-intercept is going to be 4. So it goes through 0, 4. 0, 4 is the y-intercept, so that means we've got y equals 5x plus 4. For question 2, line a passes through negative 3, 2 and 3, 6. Line B passes through 2, negative 4 and 8, negative 13. Show that A and B are perpendicular. So we're going to work out the gradient of A and the gradient of B and then show that they multiply to make negative 1. So to work out the gradient, we'll do the change in Y over the change in X. And we have x1, y1, x2, y2 for both of our lines and substitute them in. So for a, the gradient is y2 minus y1, 6 minus 2, over x2 minus x1, 3 minus negative 3. So that is 4 over 6 or 2 thirds. For line B, we've got y2 minus y1, which is negative 13 minus negative 4 over x2 minus x1, which is 8 minus 2. So we've got negative 13 plus 4, which is negative 9, over 8 minus 2 which is 6 so negative 9 over 6 they're both in the 3 times table so that's negative 3 over 2 and we've got our two gradients and we can see that they are perpendicular because one is the negative reciprocal of the other one or they multiply it to make negative 1